Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> I'm practicing. I'm practicing with my mask because Saturday I'm going back out on the wild. What do you think? Saturday we have this Bruja Art, Bruja Coffee and Art. Oh my gosh, she's going to kill me. <laughs> Bruja Co Art and Coffee something. <laughs> anyway, Saturday I have my very first live event here in Chicago and what do you think what do you think I'm vaccinated everybody that is coming is being asked to be vaccinated we all gonna have uh, social distancing and the whole bit but there is also the request for wearing masks and I figure let me be goofy <laughs> So there you have it. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Julie. Hi, Reverend Jules. Uh, hi, my Blair. Reverend. Reverend Jules, you're the best. Yes, you are. Reverend Jules is also doing her thing in Indiana reading the tarot. Tell us where, Reverend Jules. Put it on the comments, please, for folks who are in Indiana so they can come and see you. Yes. Um, and today we have the Legacy of the Divine Tarot for a reading for the week. And so if you're in Chicago, come see me Saturday. Where? Bruja, art, something or another. The information is on my page. If you go to the section of events, it is going to be there. And I totally forgot the name of the event, but it's going to be on the 12th and the 19th. And of course, I'm still doing readings um, online for folks that are not happy. Okay, Reverend Jules says, I'm reading at Face Cabinet in Fort Wayne, Indiana, once a month, and I'm doing Reiki there as well. There you have it. So, Reverend Jules, I trust her with my life. You should, too. She's awesome, and I love her. All right, folks. Enough. Enough commercials. <laughs> You're not here for that. All right, let's see what... I don't have a tablecloth today. So that's why I feel this noise. Hi, Alex. All right. Let's see what is the message from the divine cosmic energies. I pulled three cards. Let's see what we have. Chun -chun -chun. Ooh. ooh. Ooh, this is good the first card says let's take action oh they're gonna start calling me out right away so enough thinking you've been thinking about it long enough you've been very relaxed you've been very like concentrated and trying to get to the correct answer and or course of action and now the universe she's saying it's time to get up and go. Time to get up and go. Take action. Bring that that which you have been thinking about so much. Um, it's very well planned already. So it's time to flip it around and bring it to action. Call that card number one. Number two. The devil. And this is a very handsome devil. Yes, yes, he is. 
uh, it's so funny because uh, Alex, my student, and I yesterday, we were just talking about the handsome devils and literally the tarot handsome devils. And it is exactly telling you who you sold your soul to, what is holding you back, how are you holding you back from the, your own threshold of lies and secrets and darkness that you think is the worst thing in the world and never forget that in that place of shadow and darkness are hidden your greatest talents and gifts yes that's what is in there so the devil is coming to say okay reality check what is holding you back Is it you? Are you holding yourself back? Because normally the devil will say, I'm not even touching you. So don't blame me because I am not the scapegoat. My goodness. <laughs> the last card. Raise your hand if you're feeling called out because I think we all are being called out today. So put your little hands up. Just like Alex Larios has on the comments. Put your little hands up if you're feeling called out because I am so being called out by this reading today. The last card that we have is the Hanging Man. You guess, Jules, is reversed. <laughs> the Hanging Man that is saying, hey, enough of bending back bending over backwards for everybody enough of bending over backwards for everybody raise up rise up raise yourself out of that situation move forward enough enough sacrifice you are not you know you don't need to be putting yourself on pause we are so cold out today. I mean, all of the cars are like, bam, bam, bam. Who, I mean, what are you sacrificing yourself for? For whom? For what? Are you holding on to something for a better time, for a better moment? Uh, the better moment is right now. You know, I mean, if something we have learned from all this pandemic, COVID, ridiculousness, is, first of all, May those who passed on rest in peace and be never forgotten. Second of all, we are so fortunate. It's just pure fortune that we are alive. So bring it to action. I know it's really scary and I know it could be a little bit of um, anxiety producing to try to go and do now that everything is kind of like opening back up you have the skills you thought about it for a whole year so it's now time to bring an action and the devil is reminding you i'm not holding you back you have run out of excuses you have no excuses anymore to hold it back and you cannot blame me and last but not least your inner self that has been bending over backwards for others on other situations or just to you know kind of like working studying planning strategizing um, looking for the first best best avenue to do things the universe is saying enough you got it it is very well planned now stretch yourself up and I hope you can see it I really hope you can see it when he turns around the coins are coming back into his hand when he turns around you can see the little coins, the little reward coming back into his hand. So, <laughs> you know, let's have each other's back collectively. Uh, we don't know each other, but we're watching this video. 
So let's send energy to each other and have each other's back. Root for each other and do it. And yes, I'm going to copy a, a, a cliche a meme from Facebook. If people can hate each other without knowing each other, we can root for each other without knowing each other. As simple as that. All right, folks, IGTV, thank you for coming. Peace. You are loved as well. My dear Facebook friends, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, you are loved. See you Wednesday. Bye-bye.